is this the ideal wife material here is a vlog about a zambian traditional marriage Hi guys, it's Ago Lelema Tams, also known as Gelawapa Z. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once your bride price is paid in Zambia, the first function that is held is called Chilanga Mulilo. The whole essence of the function is so that the bride's family takes food to the groom's family. Usually the bride will have her squad that will wear similar t-shirts with prints on and the chitenge just to assort her as she takes this. Most of these ladies form committee groups where they contribute money in order to support each other when it's their turn. The food prepared is usually traditional Zambian food and it's usually very hot and warm and there's transport provided so that they go as a team. At this stage of the relationship, it simply means that families are welcoming each other into the families by presenting the food. The bride will usually have a great team of friends that will just be there to support her, as you can see in this image. The groom will usually be in the house, seated on a sofa, waiting for the food presentation with Bashibukombe. And the groom is expected to be humble and just listen to the instructions of the Bashubu Kombe. Bashubu Kombe is simply an elderly man that gives you instructions. Before the food is taken to the groom's chosen family house, the bride is taught some few lessons on how to prepare a good meal. So in order for you guys to understand Zambian tradition, I will just show you a video clip of what takes place before they take the food to the groom. is supposed to be a happy one because we're presenting food but I'm here to show you guys what is happening right now these images have surfaced on social media of a bride at her very own Chilanga Molilo which are showing something strange in Zambia we usually have elderly women that train you as a bride on how to look after your husband so this apparently was a part of one of the bride's teachings. I mean, where is it written that a woman should be treated like a slave? And this has sparked a huge debate on social media with men even saying, we don't understand this. What is this? I mean, what type of tradition is this that a woman needs to use her mouth to take the millimil -mill in order to put it in a pot for her to do the cooking? Where? And using her mouth to pick up the cooking stick, which guest is going to eat such food? I mean, what is going on here? This is so wrong. And then this other image has also surfaced showing a bride, another bride, trying to light a match stick with her mouth. Like, as in, how? Do we do too much as Africans? Do we just exaggerate our lives? Like, is this necessary? 
Why should the women be enslaved like this? Is having a ring on your finger a sign of slavery? Tell me what you think of in this comment section below of these images that I've just shown you. We just make our lives so difficult as Africans. Why do we suddenly twist traditions to suit our needs? I'm sure if Mary Malayla here was getting married and was given those difficult tasks, she wouldn't be smiling as she was in this picture. I wonder why even the bride's family allowed such. Presentation for your Chilanga Mulilo is very, very important. So people even hire quality utensils. I will now leave you with a video showing you the full presentation of the food in the house to the groom. It's a girl, Lela Matams, also known as Gilowa Pazed. So this is the presentation part of the Mateveto. At the entrance, they sing songs. Zambians are known for singing songs, especially when it comes to marriages. They sing so much meaningful songs that talk about, you know, we're here, we're here for our husband, we brought the bride, we love you. You know, the bride is here, has been trained as your wife. She is ready. We have prepared her for you. So the tradition is really, really good, guys. Like amazing tradition of Zambia which it would be nice for you guys to experience and just enjoy if you ever visit Zambia. So food is being served they explain to the groom each and every food. It's all about telling the groom that, you know, your wife should be able to satisfy you with good food. The food should look presentable. Don't just eat any food that is served to you. Make sure you always eat at home. This is why we are here. We've taught your wife how to cook. And as a family, we want to show you that this is how we cook. Make sure you eat at home. And the Shibukombe will be giving instructions as well and also advising to say, look, this is what they are bringing on the table for you and the man just has to listen quietly as he's being shown so this lady here is showing different kinds of dishes to the groom and the shibu kombi explains it all as well so they present the food the food has not yet been touched it has not yet been eaten only after the food is presented to the groom will people eat after the event this the, the presentation part is very important as it just shows the traditional side of Zambia. So this is the Chilanga Mulelo guys. Amazing tradition of Zambia. At this point, the women that have come to present the food ask for some money before they can enter. We call it Sowela. So they have to pour some money. It's more like a welcome. Like, look, we are not coming here for free. At least do something. Give us something. And usually they put quite a lot of money because the dramas need to be paid and everybody. So as you can see here in this video, they will continue pouring money until they see, okay, the money is quite enough and then they will enter so every step they will be asking for money until they reach the main door to the groom so watch this video guys and enjoy the zambian tradition of marriage it's called chilanga Mulelo. this is lila matams z reporting from the uk on lila matams tv
Lelama Tams, also known as Galupa Z. I hope you have learned something about Zambia today. If you have any questions, please comment in the comment section below. And some of my Zambian counterparts will be able to comment and just give you feedback on our tradition. It's not everything I would be aware of, of course. There are people who are much more elderly and mature than me that can say what I am not aware of. So bear with me, guys. I love you and thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe and share my videos.